The next afternoon I went down to his office and uh, he ran me through a whole bunch of questions and answers, said to me, uh, tonight on this you're going to take X amount of points, this is the category is so-and-so, your answer is going to be so-and-so, and I was introduced into the Dan Enright School of Acting. He, many, many of the gestures and the actions which I performed were actually Dan Enright's own particular idiosyncrasies. For example, he was a lip biter, so part of the routine was biting your lip when you were asked a hard question. Uh, there was, um, he also said, when you, they're going to put makeup on you, and I want you to pat your brow, not rub it, for the simple reason the makeup's going to come off. And uh, he also wanted me to breathe heavily into the microphone while I was, you know, deep breaths, in other words, breathe deeply into the microphone to build up the suspense. As has been shown in the movie uh, Quiz Show, uh, they cut off the air conditioning to make you sweat. It was especially hot in those isolation booths anyhow. But they cut off the air conditioning to make you sweat. And uh, you were never supposed to answer the question directly. For example, on a five-part question, you do part four, come, count off ten seconds. Everything was choreographed down to the second. Uh, they had what were called continuity cards, and you had a prepared speech listed on there. It would say Barry, and Barry would say this, and Herb, you know, and that was your repartee. And you had to say everything. You had to remember all this. Uh, I'm the only person, incidentally, in the history of the show, and the show ran approximately over two years, who ever had to refer to Jack Barry as Mr. Barry and always say it in a, in a sort of a sheepish, plaintive voice. In fact, I had to disguise my voice when I went on this program. For example, I was asked, uh, how many points do you want? And I'd say something like, I'll take nine points, Mr. Barry. You know, that's the way I actually had to do this. <laughs> he wanted me to be the nerd, and this coincided with my behavior on the show. I'm, uh, that's why I had to call him Mr. Barry, in other words. He wanted me to be the nerd, the square. And uh, since I was playing this particular role, I had to be a very, very uh, diffident, very uh, sheepish, and uh, not, not manly, so as to speak. In other words, everybody else who ever appeared on the show, as I said before, called him Jack. <laughs> I'm the only person who ever called him Mr. Barry. Yeah, the whole Dan Enright School of Acting, I spent about two hours prior to the program. He ran me through the whole thing. I was told how many points I was going to take, the questions I was going to miss. Uh, I was taught to bite my lip, pause for 10 seconds, count off 10 seconds, uh, venture, and each answer was supposed, in many, many cases, you didn't answer, you know, affirmatively as if you really knew the answer. You'd give something like 14, you know, tentatively in other words, and, he, and Jack Barry would say, that's right, and then you suddenly were taught to explode with a big smile on your face, as is depicted in the movie Quiz Show, when uh, Totoro, who played my part, gets the right answer, he just beams, in other words, this is the technique that was employed.